Daisy Bunny Butt. Oh, there she is. Hi, everyone. Thanks for coming back. Hey, um, one of the things I see on a lot of the vlog sites or the uh, Reddit subreddit rabbits is can bunnies be litter box trained? And I'm happy to share with you that the answer is yes. And it can be done pretty quickly, but there are some caveats that will make this easier. So let's talk about some of those things. One of the biggest things is your rabbit setup. How is your litter box set up? Now the size of your litter box is very important. Your litter box should be big enough that your bunny can get into it and completely turn around. Now a lot of times these small uh, corner cage litter boxes are not big enough for that. You almost need a cat litter box because if they feel comfortable and will lounge around in it, they're going to use it. The second thing is Bunny litter boxes are not set up quite the same way that cat litter boxes are. A lot of times you begin with a layer of whatever kind of litter you would like to use. Now be careful, you shouldn't use your typical cat litter. There's some uh, ground corn products, which can be difficult if your bunny eats that, but there's some ground corn products that are safe for them, and it's safe for him, them to ingest as long as they don't eat too much or you can use a paper product like Yesterday's News or Carefresh. And you don't need much, you just wanna layer about a half inch in the bottom of your litter box. On top of that, you're going to layer about an inch of hay, just right in their litter box. Additionally, you want to put a hay rack that is right over their litter box. Now this is helpful in a couple ways because as your bunny eats, when they make a mess with that hay rack, now it's gonna fall directly into your litter box and you don't have to clean that up. But your bunny likes to poo while, it, where they, while they eat. So this is, works out perfectly for them in that it's already encouraging them to use their litter box for one of their bathroom habits. So that's about the litter box setup. The second thing is, to be consistent and watch for your bunny to be urinating or defecating. Now, just like when you have a puppy, the first thing you'll do is keep them in a smaller area and watch them very carefully for when they're going to go. So with bunnies, I know this is gonna sound crazy, but bunnies raise their back end about an eighth to a quarter inch, just their tail region, right before they go. And once you see this one time, you will recognize it every time. And when you see that, you don't need to scold, you don't need to yell, bunnies don't understand, and they're also prey creatures, so they can be scared very easily. But, so you want to scoop them up, making sure to support their back and front legs, and put them directly into the litter box. Additionally, if they, if they urinated or peed, go ahead and clean that up with a paper towel and then take that paper towel and put that in the litter box as well, uh, as well as any um, poos that might have happened at the same time. Keep putting that consistently into the litter box and putting the bunny into the litter box every time you see them going. If you have problems, you can reduce the amount of area that a bunny has down to where you've just got three litter boxes surrounded by an X-Pen. What this will do for you is the bunny has no, no other option but to go in the litter box. Now you wanna put hay in half of it. Here's a picture up here off of Pinterest. Um, I'll give them credit down below in the, in, in the information. But you'll wanna put hay in half of it, litter in the other half, and just put an uh, X-Pen all the way around those with no other room. Now you've forced your bunny to go in the litter box. After a couple days of, of being in this reduced space with this, you can take out one of the litter boxes. If you see that they have no problem, leave that for a couple days, two to three days, leaving that open space for them. And again, take out another litter box. Once you've done that, then you can move, move on to expanding that X-Pen cage to give them the proper amount of space that they'll need for the day. Now, if you see them backtrack at all to where you're finding a lot of, of uh, the, if they're going a lot outside of the box, then you can reduce them immediately back down to where they are, back to where they have to use the boxes so that you've got that same setup with that three litter boxes around that cage. And you will 
see a remarkable difference within just a short amount of time. And a lot of times you won't have to go to that though because bunnies do like to be clean animals. So it doesn't take a lot to encourage bunnies to go in the right place. Just make sure that you've got the proper setup. Make sure that you're watching them in order to give them that proper, um, the proper uh, reinforcement that they need and work on consistency and understanding. Now one of the other things that may pop up with potty training is somewhere between three and a half to five and a half months they go through puberty. This is so important to get them neutered and spayed. This is the time when they are going to start to um, want to mark their territories. All they've got on their mind is making new, more bunnies and so they're going to mark their territories in order so other bunnies know how to find them to do that. So if you spay or neuter them, you're going to decrease that marking and territorial behavior and bring them back to that previously uh, potty trained state that you had. So I hope some of these tips help you and I hope that you're able to enjoy your bunny as a free roam bunny just like me and Thanos. Have a great day!